Hello grade 7 students, I am teacher Cheryl and welcome to my virtual classroom. Before we start with our lesson, let's have an activity. Are you ready? Here's the direction. Identify the songs of Islamic and non-Islamic groups in Mindanao. Choose your answer from the box below. Write your answers in a one-fourth sheet of paper. You have one minute to answer. Alright, let's check if your answers are correct. Number 1, Manobo Harvest Song is Balakuting. Very good. Number 2, The Curing Ceremony of Subanon is Diwata. Very good. 3, Lalabay of Tausog is Langan Bata Bata. Wow. Number 4, Chant During the Ramadan is Tarawe. Very good. And last but not the least, Amaranao Epic Poem is Darangan. Congratulations. Now, let us proceed to our topic, which is the musical instruments and other sound sources from Mindanao. First, we have the Kulintang and Sam, a gong-based and Sam used by the Maguindanao and Maranao of Western Mindanao, the Tausog, the Yakan, and the Samabadjao of the Sulu Archipelago. Let's watch the video of the Kulintang and Sam. They have varied functions but are mostly used for celebrations and rituals. Here are the two types of Kulintang and Sam. First, we have the Kulintangan of Manobo Kotabato or the Quintangan. It is an ensemble of six to eight hanging melody gongs in a row, hung on ropes in pyramidal order with the smaller and higher pitch gongs near the top. The second one is the Tahungo, Agong, Salmagi, and Blowan Semagi, a suspended gong and sums with 9 to 11 gongs in melody player and a drone player in various names according to each tribe. The ensemble may be completed with one or two drums. Kulintang Kulintang is a set of graduated gongs widely used in Mindanao. Its tunes are based on a pentatonic scale. Let's watch the video on the next slide. The Kulintang is a set of eight post gongs in graduated sizes arranged from lowest to highest and laid over a wooden frame. The Kulintang is part of an instrumental ensemble along with other gongs and a skin drum. These instruments are common among the Mindanao region of Southern Philippines. This region contains different styles of kulintang playing. But in this video, I will only focus on the Maguindanao style. The kulintang is played by striking the knob of the gong with wooden sticks. Ah. 
Agung Agung is a large, deep-rimmed gong, vertically suspended and hung in a wooden frames or pole. Let's watch this video. Next, we have Babandil. Babandil is the timekeeping gong. It is usually the first instrument played in the ensam and act as the ensam's conductor. Let's watch this video. Next, we have Gandingan. Gandingan is a set of four large hanging gongs used by the Maguindanawan as part of their kulintang and psalm. Dabakan Dabakan is a goblet-shaped drum which has a single head covered with goat, lizard, or snake skin. Now we have the bamboo and psalm. Bamboo is considered among early Filipinos as a spiritual connection from our physical world to the spiritual. Many bamboo instruments were made for this purpose, while some were also used for entertainment and personal expression. The different manners in playing bamboo instruments includes blowing or aerophones, shaking or hitting idiophones, and plucking or chordophones. First, we have Gabang. Gabang is a native xylophone in Sulu. It has a bamboo keyboard on top placed on a wooden body. Keys are struck with two wooden mallets. Next, we have Seronga Gandhi. Seronga Gandhi is a guitar-like made of bamboo. It is cut before one nod and after next. Two cards are slit loose, given tension by bridges. A hole is placed under the cords which serves as the resounding hole. Karaga Karaga is a guitar made of bamboo where the strings are slit from the bamboo itself. The bamboo is split and tied back from the both ends leaving a slit as a resonator. Next, we also have Bilbil or Bungkaka. Bungkaka is a bamboo musical instrument used by the Tinguians. It is a two-pronged bamboo struck against the palm of one. Kagul Kagul is a type of bamboo scrapper gong or slit drum of the Megindunawans with jagged edge on the side played with two beaters. Next is Kubing. Kubing is a bamboo jew harp of Tiruray. Now let us proceed to the solo instruments which are the kudyapi, 
Suling and Sahunay. Let us first discuss about Kudyapi. Kudyapi is a two-string plucked lute instrument made of wood. It varies in sizes but normally one and a half meters long. This is Samaon Sulaiman. Samaon Sulaiman was a Filipino musician who is a recipient of the National Living Award. The Maguindanawan is known for his mastery of the indigenous Kudyapi instrument. Next one is Suling. Suling is mainly made of tamyang bamboo, a long, thin-walled bamboo lute. The mouthpiece of the Suling is circled with a thin band made of rattan near a small hole. And last but not the least is Sahunai. Sahunai is a bamboo flute leaving six holes for the fingers and a trumpet made of coconut leaf. This bamboo flute is used by the Muslims of Sulu. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Teacher Cheryl. See you next week. Bye!